Mini PC sticks have been around for quite a while now. You might remember the Intel Compute Stick, which first launched in 2015 and attempted to take small computing to an even smaller size. And while Intel exited that market a few years back, it's good to see there are third-party options such as Azul's Axis Alder Lake Mini PC Stick, which takes it to the next level. Unlike the Compute Stick, it uses a much more powerful CPU, is fanless and, well, bigger. So how does it hold up in the world of mini PCs? We'll take a look at it after this message. Ezus Partition Master Professional is a comprehensive storage partitioning app for your PC or server. Resize and extend partitions, clone OS drives, convert MBR to GPT, and even recover lost or broken partitions. Find out more in the video description. So you may be wondering, what are these compute sticks used for? Well, common usage cases are for digital signage, video conferencing, as media players, streaming video, that sort of thing. I remember seeing an Intel compute stick in a conference room years ago, and it was disgustingly slow thanks to its Atom processor. But the Azul Axis Alder Lake uses Intel's latest N100 4-core CPU, and the difference is night and day. Boot times are also much quicker, and Windows is still a reasonable experience, even with the lower power limit and slower storage used in this stick. The access plugs straight into a monitor or TV, or you can use the HDMI extension to space it out a bit. The biggest weakness is that HDMI doesn't support power delivery, so you still need to power it with the included AC adapter. Also bundled is a USB-C to Type-A adapter, which is pretty useful as the ports on the stick are limited. There's a micro SD card reader, which can be used for storage expansion and USB Type-A on one side. Gigabit LAN and audio jack opposite the HDMI plug, and a USB-C port on the other. Unfortunately, it doesn't support power delivery or display. And that's it. Best to use a stick with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse combo, or remotely with something like TeamViewer. Azul's Axis features the Intel AX201 Wi-Fi 6 chip, and the external antenna helps to increase wireless range, which is definitely helpful for its common usage case. It did pass my Bluetooth audio test of 5 meters or 16 feet through a wall. Inside the stick is 4 gigabytes of LPDDR4, 4266 memory, and 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage, which is one of the slower forms of storage, and a large chunk of it holds Windows 11 Pro. How much is a large chunk? Well, you're looking at just 33.5 GB of free, slightly over half. Ubuntu works fine as an alternative if you want to use that over Windows. I tested it off a USB drive without issues. The Azul Access Alder Lake Fanless Stick comes in at $479 US dollars or around $430 with a 10% off coupon provided. I tried to find another fanless Intel N100 stick to see how it compares but it looks like this might be the only one on the market as of this video that plugs straight into a display. Either way, it's not cheap. So, like all fanless mini PCs, the Zool stick will continuously heat up over time if it's pushed above its cooling capacity, eventually hitting above what's deemed safe and thermal throttling the CPU to keep it from getting too hot. This thermal throttling reduces performance, I thought I'd show the best and worst case scenario scores with the benchmarks. Best case testing is from a cold state for the 10 minutes or so for each benchmark, and worst case is once it's already been used for half an hour and the temperature is in the 80 Celsius range. So in single core Cinebench, it does decently and surpasses even a NUC 11 Essential. But there's a sharp drop in performance once the stick gets too hot. A 40% decrease. From a cold state in multicore, it's not too far off the Mealy Quieter 4C, which is a bigger fanless mini PC. In the worst case scenario, the drop is larger, now 49%. Single core Geekbench best case result came back pretty good, being close to the other N100s. Multicore is down by over a third in the best case scenario against a fan cooled N100. The drop in the worst case was sharp on the multicore side. I'm not sure why you'd be video encoding with this stick, but if you were, you're in for a long wait either way. My recommendation is to stick to decode only. Azul stick held up pretty well in the best case graphics benchmark. There was another sharp drop once it's really hot. This will be important for the video decoding, which will be impacted. I wasn't able to do the TimeSpy benchmark, 
as there's not enough memory to run it. The MMC storage isn't fast by any stretch of the imagination, at least half the speeds of SATA at best of times. Still, it's going to be faster than a spinning rust drive from years ago. So, for its basic computing tasks, the stick should do the job. But to really test it, I waited until it was thermal throttling and then tried a few YouTube 4K videos to see how it held up. 4K 60fps AV1 wasn't usable. But at 4K 30fps, it held up well. The 4K 60 VP9 codec played decently, dropping some frames here and there, and 4K 30 was fine as well. So if you're planning to use a stick to stream video from YouTube, you should be okay at 4K 30 FPS or below, especially if it's a hot environment. In the BIOS, Azul has conveniently placed the most common options people look for in the Advanced tab, and then Customer Exclusive Functions. Auto Power and Wake on LAN are already on by default. The idle power draw is the lowest recorded at just 6 watts, and it's not surprising that with the lower performance, we also get a lower maximum power draw of just 17 watts. Still not easy to cool that much heat with such small surface area. I wasn't expecting a miracle on this device, and it did top out with one of the highest CPU temps when thrashed on a constant full core load. The MMC storage doesn't have a temperature sensor, but seems to hold up pretty well, even when it's hot. Alright, so let's wrap up the Zool Axis Old Lake Fanless Mini PC Stick. It's great to see another fanless mini PC as a plug-in stick with an Intel N100 in it. I haven't tested any other recent sticks, but this is one of the fastest available. Wireless coverage is good thanks to the external antenna. I'm also glad a microSD card slot has been added for additional storage. A 64GB isn't much, especially if you're planning to put a whole load of 4K videos on it. As we've already seen in the benchmarks, you don't get full N100 performance. There's a compromise here compared to the bigger mini PCs. And even that performance does thermal throw if it's constantly under load. It's a pricey option, but if you need something to plug into a display, it's unique and does the job. 4GB of RAM limits the amount of apps to have open at any one time. Windows is already using up a lot of the memory. I also would have liked to see at least one more USB port. So if you need a mini PC you can plug into a display, you can check out the Azul Alder Lake Fanless Stick linked in the video description. And if you need something much more powerful, check out the Azul Elite Mini PC right here. Cheers!